It's that time again. The time. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Wei Zhang Commander Leader. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We just have some line art of the Commander Leader. He is a metal edition, whatever, M09 Commander Leader on this side of the box, just ages 14 plus, bloody bloody, on this side, bloody bloody, metal edition. Did they on purpose leave the E out of edition? Were they trying to make some kind of slang or something? It's that metal edition. I don't know. On the back, yeah, that same line art warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for ah, the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Commander Leader. And this is Wei Zhang's Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime. And uh, originally, I was not going to get this figure. I wasn't going to. Quite a few people asked me about it, and I said, no, I'm not getting it. And um, I changed my mind because, in light of recent events with Wei Zhang, um, this may very well be the last figure we get from them. So I kind of bought this in memoriam of Wei Zhang. I bought this more for sentimental reasons than anything else, but still, it's a nice figure. But here he is in his truck mode. He is a red and blue truck. Mind blown! I know! Are you shocked? I know I am every single time, but here he is in his truck mode and we'll get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice dark tinted windshields going on there, some nice silver for the front grille and bumper and the headlights, side view mirrors done in silver, got a nice white stripe going down the side, some more silver, some more silver, and yeah, kind of a dull silver there for the smokestacks. And back here are clearly his legs, but you get some nice paintwork going on here as well. You can see some scratches and scuffs, some dirt going on in there. Overall, looking pretty nice. In the back here, you got some nice metallic blue and red for those lights. And there is the top, there is the bottom of the wheels are plastic, but they still look pretty good. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series. Bumblebee Prime. With the MPM Prime. And here he is with the Toy World Bumblebee Prime, which I actually broke a couple pieces of, transforming him for this review, which further proves that the transformation on this thing sucks! But anyway, there you go! Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get his uh, Cybertronian rims. You only get four of them, so you can't cover all the wheels, unfortunately. But you can use these on the back wheels, they just peg right in. Like so, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, although it's a little harder to get them back out, but there you go. So you can have that look going on, and again, you can only do those back wheels you can't do. I don't know why they didn't give you ones to cover up those wheels too, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, you can do that. If you want, you also do get an alternate pair of smokestacks. If you don't like the bent ones, you can have straight ones here, and these just pop right out. And you just put these in, although these are quite tight. Especially this one. This one really kind of fights you trying to go in, but you know, there you go. You can have the straight smokestacks if you want. Hey, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. Me, personally, I like the, uh, I like the bent smokestacks. This gives it a little bit more style, in my opinion. But hey, do what you want. But you got that. And you also get this piece right here, which is obviously where you're going to attach your trailer. And how this works is you have these two slots right here, which will go into these two slots right there, or these two tabs, rather. These are tabs, and I call these tabs or slots. You know what they are. I know what they are, I think. I don't know. But anyway, you just slide those in like that. And then there is 
a tab right there that will just pop in and there you go and that fills that in very nicely now this will not work with your mp10 trailer this is meant to go with their upsized mp10 with their mpp10 so no this will not work with the mp10 trailer it's too small for that but if you do have their mpp10 then you're good to go you can use that trailer on this figure so hey again things you can do if you want to do it he does also include some weaponry he has his gun right here which looks very nice Nice detail going on there. Stand off nice gunmetal gray. And you can pull out the magazine. You have around there, which is pretty cool. So you have that. And you also get a big old axe, which is nicely done. This big old yellow blades there. And um, you can't really store these on the truck mode. Uh, you can kind of fit, I mean, like this, this tab will fit here like that. So, I mean, technically, yeah, you can, you can store that, but then there's nowhere for the gun to go. There's really nowhere for the gun to go. Um, there is a slot here, which is meant for the gun, but that's meant for something else that this is used for and you can't really plug it onto that really so that doesn't really that just yeah no just just no just just no but hey weapons but yeah that is basically it for the truck mode and i think it looks quite good in my opinion so let's get down to transformation shall we let's all right so first thing we need to do is uh remove this piece so just untie that and just wiggle it off and there you go, and we shall commence. So, first thing we want to do is start off with these side panels here. Just pop these up on that double hinge. Take the section here, just rotate it under, like so. You want to come here and pop this section up. I always forget to do this first, and I'm going to remember now. I remember this time. So bring this up, and then you can take this and just flip this up and over like that same thing on the other side just pop this section up here there we go and then come here to the side panel and just pop this out and swing that under and just swing that around like so you can take this bit right here just raise this up rotate around bring it down and there you go so now we need to do a little bit of origami here on the side. You just kind of want to pull all this back so it won't tab and bring it down. And you're just going to untab this section here. So just pull that up and that will allow you to bring all of this down on this double hinge. Fold this under, fold this over, bring that down and then this little section here will just fold forward like that. Same thing on the other side. Just Pull that back and untab, and then just bring all that down, over, over, down, forward, and there we go. Pretty easy so far, pretty easy. So now we're just going to grab a hold of his arms. His arms are tabbed in back here, so just kind of grab back here and just kind of pop the arm out of that tab, boop, like that. Then we can just swing his arm right out. See how easy that was? Just swing that out. A lot easier than the Toy World version. Uh, just swing the arm out, and then you're going to take this little panel here and just flip that over, and then this will swing in, and tab into place. This will just come up on that double hinge. That will come down, and you just rotate the smokestack like so. Second verse, same as the first. Untap that, bring it out, and just flip this little panel over, bring all this in, tab it in, bring that down, bring that up, bring that around, and there we go. So, at this point, we can, what can we do? Well, just uh, fold these side view mirrors back, and you just want to raise this up so you can open up the chest panel here and you want to come under here and there are panels you want to flip out right here so flip out those panels and come under here and flip out the panel 
Make sure things are out of the way. There you go. Get that flipped out, and you're good to go. At this point now, we can just flip his head around. Just make sure you're kind of pulling this up so you have the clearance, and rotate his head up. And now we can work on his belly here. So what you're going to do with the prime belly is just going to take these side pieces here and just untab, untab, and then you can just take this and bring this up like so. These little panels here on the sides will just flip in, flip in. That just sits right there. And then, whoop. I'm going to come under here. Actually, first thing we want to do is we want to take these sections here, rotate them around, rotate them around, and swing them out to the side, like so. Swing them out to the side, and then you just want to take these sections here. They are tabbed into the central section, so you just pop that up, pop that out, and come in here, flip out this little bit here. And you want to rotate this entire assembly around, rotate around like that. So at this point now, you can see this little bit here is clipped in. You just unclip that. Then you can bring all of this up. Just make sure you clear everything. And then you can straighten his body out. And luckily he can actually like stand on his toes there. <laughs> oh, we'll just come up. So we just straighten all this up, and there are tabs that these side pieces will go into. Get them lined up, and there you go. And then we can just bring in his chest windshields, like that. And then you want to bring these panels down, and they will tab into the sides, locking the chest in place nice and securely. Boom, like so. And there you go. So now we can work on the legs. So we can just rotate his waist 180. You want to come back here. You want to take these bits here and just fold them down to get them out of the way. You want to fold this down and then take the little side skirt piece and just swing that out from under that tank. Fold the tank in, close this back up, bring that down, and there you go. Bring that down. Just swing that out, in, close, down, done. And now we've done that, we can split his legs. And we can work on the legs. So, you just want to bring this section up, rotate this down, bring this down, and there is a tab and a slot right there for it. So just line that up and push that in. And once we've done that, you want to take the foot, you kind of want to just bring it forward a little bit so you can start swinging it out. Just bring it forward as you're swinging it out and rotate around. And there you go. And then you take this section here. This will unfold. There's a little post that will go into a port right there on the side. And then you take this panel, bring that down, and that will plug into the other side like so. Then you bring this down and that'll tab in right there. And there you have a leg all done. Oh, actually, we want to rotate this a little bit. There we go. And now we got a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. Bring that up. Swing. Down. Dab. Flippy out the foot. Flippy the footy. Flippy the footy. Bring that down. Take that in. Bring that down. Take that in. And bring that down and tie all that in. There we go. And we got his legs all done. And we are pretty much at the home stretch. Last thing we have to do is unleash the mighty fists of the primes. Just open up this panel and just flip that out. Close that up. Rotate his hand. Bring his arm down. Same thing on the other side. Open. Flip. Flip, close, rotate, down, and just get his shoulders oriented. And are we done? I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. Just gonna get that. Just gonna straighten up. 
there. And there you go. There you have Commander Leader, aka Optimus Prime, in his robot mode. And he looks good. He looks real good. I think my only complaint really is that his upper body looks a little too chunky, a little too chunktastic. But other than that, he looks quite, quite good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. There's that nice primy noggin. You can see some nice paintwork there. You can see little scratches and scuffs and all that going on. Nice silver there on the face. You get some nice little gray in there too. So nicely done head sculpt. You get a little bit of nice detail going on in there as well. Some bits there done in gunmetal gray. You can see some nice details going on. Some nice paintwork. You get some more of those little, like scratches and scuffs and whatnot. You got the yellow there. Good. Lots of nice detail going on. Lots of nice paint work. On his thighs. His thighs are die cast. And I believe parts of his feet are die cast. I think so. I could be wrong. But yeah, some die cast in them. Again, some nice detail going on. He's even got like treads on the bottoms of his feet. <laughs> and moving up the back. You can see very clean transformation everything is nice and tidy so overall quite quite good now articulation wise the head is on a ball joint so you have all your wiggly waggly wiggly waggly until you look up until you do squirrel until you do that can look down head can do a full 360 arms can do a full 360 they can move in and out at two points you have a hinge right here at the base and you have a hinge in the shoulder so you have full outward movements. If you move this out of the way, you have your bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow. And moving down the arm, you have wrist rotation. The hands are poseable. You have a ball joint at the base of the thumb and a joint there. And each finger is on a ball joint at the base. You can get a little a bit of splay there on those fingers and then you have a hinge there and a hinge there you have some pretty good poseable hands he does have waist articulation he does also have an ab crunch this one side on mine though doesn't like to stay together likes to come on tap that is near wall i don't it's near wall i mean i just don't have this squozing well enough eh, a little bit better yeah he does have an ab crunch and of course you can move these panels out of the way even as a uh, so butt plates here, move that out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. He does have thigh rotation, although that outward joint, as you can see, not as tight as one would like, but I can tighten that up. So again, thigh, thigh rotation. You do have slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. A nice ratchet and the feet they can move up a little bit move down a little bit and you have your ankle tiltage and you have a uh, toe joint as well and of course we can give him his weaponry we can give him his gun here and it does have a light up feature you have a little switch right there just flick it and you get a nice bright orange led that goes off in there which is quite cool. Um, the batteries were already installed, so I assume they'll be installed when you get yours, so you won't have to worry about batteries until you have to replace them. But, of course, it is the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. And you can actually get his finger on the trigger here, which is nice. And you just plug that in. He holds that pretty securely, and he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang. Pew pew bang bang, I probably did not have that pegged in securely enough. There we go. There we go. Now we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. There you go. So you got that going on. And of course we can give him his axe. You can store the axe on his back. There is a port right there. And you can just take the axe and just plug it in. 
have that stored there if you want to, which is pretty cool. But of course, hey, he has weapons. Put your butt flap down there, buddy. He does have weapons, so why not have him wielding his weapons? Again, just tab in the slots. And you just kind of get his fingers through here. And just get all that tab in. Get all that tab in on our slack. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oops. There you go. You can pew pew hack hack. Pew pew hack. Hey! Hey! You know? We're trying to pew pew and hack hack. Not pew pew drop drop. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, Prime. Not how it works. There we go. It's just a case of getting everything tabbed in right. I just don't have it tabbed in right, apparently. And of course, no problems off camera. All the problems are when the camera is on because of course it is. <sighs> but he can't hold it, I swear. It's just fighting me now because it wants to fight me now. There we go. There we go. Pew pew, hack hack, pew pew, hack hack. Jeez, man! Jeez! So there you have that. So now let's talk about what we can do with this part here, so this bit can transform. You just want to open up these side sections here. Then you want to just bring this out. Now you want to fold out these legs here. Fold out the legs. Now you want to bring this section down. And this section is scary tight on mine. Like this is just, I'm so afraid of breaking this. That's just scary tight on mine. But you want to bring that down like that, and this basically becomes a, uh, a tripod for the gun. And you can just dab it in right there. There you go. You have that going on. Hey, thing you can do if you want to do it. Turn the light on. There you go. Hey, hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Why not? Dare I say why not? And Prime himself has a light up feature. Let me just turn his head around. You can see we got a little switch back there. Again, the batteries were already installed on mine, so I'm assuming they're gonna be installed on everybody's, so you won't have to worry about that until you have to replace the batteries, but you just flip that switch and his eyes glow a nice bright blue, and that looks quite nice. So there you go. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the Studio Series Prime. With my uh, knockoff MPM Prime. Just because here he is with MP44. With the MPM Bumblebee with the transform elements, bubble B, with the three zero prime, and with the Toy World version. Now, just to break down my thoughts on both of these figures real quick, um, as far as looks go, as far as aesthetically, um, the Toy World version definitely looks better. Um, but as far as playability, as far as enjoyment goes, uh, the Wei Zhang definitely wins hands down. I actually liked messing with this figure. This one, no. And me personally, I value playability over aesthetics. It's great if I can have both, but I value playability over aesthetics. I don't buy Transformers to just put them on the shelf and look pretty. There are some exceptions, but I don't normally buy Transformers just to put on a shelf and look pretty. I buy Transformers because I actually want to mess with them, and if I don't want to mess with it, then in my eyes it fails at its purpose. But that's just me to each their own. I know how opinions work. I hope you do too, and that is just my opinion. So, there you go. So there you have Commander Leader, and yeah, it's a good figure. I do quite like it. Um, the truck mode looks good. Uh, the robot mode looks good. Uh, my only complaint is, and it's just a nitpick, I just feel like his upper body is a little too chunky and kind of throws his proportions off a little bit, but otherwise, looks good. Some good paintwork, some good detail. Um, the transformation 
it works, it's enjoyable, I had fun with it. So all in all, I think it's quite a solid figure. Um, the leg joints uh, moving outward, that outward leg joints is a little loose, but I can fix that up, that's not a problem. So really, it's all around a pretty well done figure in my opinion, so. There you go! Now I picked this up from Show Z Store. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Wei Zhang Commander Leader. And this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Pull in your face. B-127, we have to evacuate Cybertron. Head for the escape pods. Yes, sir. My name is Cliff Jump. Shut up, Cliff Jumper. That's your only job. <laughs>